Hey guys, it's me. I haven't made a video for like ever, and I decided to make one now because I'm really bored. And it's a tutorial vid. It's on how to make your very own Japanese paper stars. I have mine in the bucket. And I know there's like 50 million of these things in the video, but I, on the video <laughs> on the web. But I just feel like making one because there's so much fun to make and I'm just bored and I haven't made a video, so, yep. Okay, first thing you're going to need is a strip of paper. This is 25 by 1 centimeter. It's long. This is um, paper you use in scrapbooks because, well, I don't have the fortunateness of living by an Asian stationery store where you can get the actual paper that has some really, really awesome designs on them. The paper you can buy Agent Stationery stores, like I said, or I think you might be even able to order it online, like big ass packs of it. I'm not quite sure. But I don't have that, so I use like colored computer paper so it's not all white. Or I even use Michaels sells like those um, scrapbook papers, not the cardstock, but the paper, at like this. They have some really, really cool designs on them. So I just measure it out. I get ones with no design on the back, so I don't have to worry about not being able to see where I'm cutting. So I etch it out here and then cut it out. And this is a different one, but yeah. So they make some pretty cool stars too. Like you can see in my thing, there's one and other ones. So let us begin. You will need a piece. Remember, like I said, you have pre-cut or measure out 25 centimeters by 1 centimeter on the paper. Okay, if you do have a design on it, it doesn't matter how you start folding it. The first thing you're going to want to do is make a breast cancer awareness ribbon. Like that. And you're going to have one really long leg and one really short leg. And then the short one goes on top. And then you're going to kind of feed it through here. Now this is the part where you're going to be really careful because you can totally mess up your star at this point until it's in a nice little thing on it, like that. Okay? Like I said, be very careful, because if you pull too hard and too quick, you'll rip the paper and you're going to have to start all over again. Now this little leg, you can tuck behind here. The, the white can be out because it's going to get covered by the long leg. Now see how mine's hanging out? Just trim that one down so that it fits nicely behind there. It doesn't matter if you have the white side showing because this is going to cover it. Now you want to make sure the design is facing outward and you're going to go over it. And just kind of go with the shape of the pentagon. Like that. Okay, just kind of fold with it until you have like none left. Or until you're at a point where you can tuck like here. And if it's too long and you don't want a really, really thick star because they're harder to pinch, just trim it so it fits. Now there's like a little area where you have like this little pocket. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's a little pocket. Just slide the excess in there so it stays, so you don't have to like tape it. That was like my first mistakes I ever made. Okay, so then you have a pentagon like that. Okay, and the white part that was showing, white part that was showing before is now not visible. Now this is the fun part. If you have nails, you are lucky. If you do not, like I do, mine are really short. This may hurt your fingers, so don't do too many at a time. Otherwise, you're gonna have like the pinch marks on the tips of your fingers. But or I don't have them with me now. But I made a whole bunch by hand surge, so I actually found this tip. Um, wire pinchers or wire cutter, whatever they're called, that go into like the point at the end. If you use them to do this next step, it makes everything so much easier. Alright, but what you're going to do is each of the corners, you're going to pinch, Let's see if I can get a corner I can pinch, pinch in like that, so that it kind of puffs up, so it looks three-dimensional. Now this one's not cooperating at the moment, but it's supposed to be puffed up. There we go, that's better. But, so it's now three-dimensional, it's a star, there we go, that's better. And so do that for all the corners, make sure they're pinched nice and tight, this does hurt your fingers though. So don't, like, kill yourself. 
and there you go. You now have made a star. So, like I said, you can use basic computer paper or design paper, just don't get lost with the fancy patterns, and add that to your collection. And they say the more stars to make, you make, the more luck you're supposed to have. Or, depends on what colors, use wealth, love, luck, whatever. So, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial in my little video. And, uh, have fun making paper stars and trying not to hurt your fingers. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.